guys, welcome back to our channel. I have had a lot of questions lately about how I lost all the weight and what I ate to lose the weight and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would share with you guys today kind of like a what I eat in a day vlog. So I wanted to show you what I'm having for breakfast. As most of you know, um, I've said it many times before, I followed the 21 day meal plan to lose all of my weight. It's actually a meal plan that my best friend came across on Instagram. So if you go to Instagram and you search 21 day meal plan, you'll be able to find her page. Um, and we just purchased the meal plan. I believe it was like $18, but it tells you everything you can eat and cannot eat. Um, I'm not associated with them at all. I just, it's something that worked for me. So I wanted to share with you guys what I did because a lot of people ask like what exactly I did. And it's basically a clean eating meal plan. So this is what I am having for breakfast. I'm having a Dr. Prager's black bean and quinoa veggie burger. These are my absolute favorite. They are so, so, so good. I eat one literally every single day, every day for breakfast. I'm also having some fat-free cottage cheese that I have added the extra spicy Mrs. Dash salt-free seasoning to and one hard boiled egg because that's all I had left. Usually I'll eat like two, but I also added a little bit of that seasoning to the egg. And then on the veggie burger, I just have some plain yellow mustard. I'm also having my second cup of coffee, which, oh, you're gonna take one? All right. So I'm having half of a hard boiled egg today. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna eat my veggie burger today, just the egg? She loves these veggie burgers, you guys. No, I prefer to eat at the table, please. So anyways, um, I'm on my second cup of coffee, which I'm drinking this sugar-free hazelnut coffee creamer. This is not part of the meal plan that I followed, but coffee was something I was not willing to give up. So now that I've lost the weight and I'm at my goal weight, I've added things back in that were not on the meal plan. So not everything you see that I eat today is going to be 100% 21-day meal plan. But for the most part, I like to keep my diet 95% clean. So here is what I am having for breakfast and I will make sure I link down below. I'll write the name of the meal plan um, and any other info that you guys like that I share in this video that you guys might want, let me know and I can put it in the description. But here is my breakfast. Hey guys, I am back. So it's mid morning now and this is around the time that I like to mix up my grains to drink. So I am not going to the gym this morning. I had to move it to this evening because Cohen is not feeling well. So I don't want to take him to childcare and get everyone else sick and all that stuff. So I am waiting to go to the gym until Chris gets home. So I usually either drink this before I go to the gym on the way to the gym. It's just something helpful that helps me get in like my healthy veggies and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, you guys know I'm back strict to my healthy eating and I'm back to a strict workout routine. So it's just something that's really important to me. So I have been drinking the Teamy Greens. Now they gave these to me a few weeks ago to try and I am hooked, like so good. You can put it in a smoothie, you can drink it by itself. Um, there's 16 superfood ingredients. It's 100% plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, all that stuff. It has no artificial chemicals, colors, flavors, no fillers or additives. So here is what it looks like and Look at how cute this tumbler is. So it's got the little strap. I can take it with me. Like I said, on the go, it fits perfect. It's a 20 ounce tumbler, fits perfect in my cup holder and both of my cars. Um, I'm actually gonna go upstairs and do some laundry after this. And I need to get the bathrooms clean. So I'll just take this with me upstairs and drink it as I do the laundry. I just kind of take it all around the house with me. Same as I do with my water cup. You guys will never see me without a cup of water. So when I mix up my greens, it's the same kind of thing. I just have it with me wherever I go. So what you do is you can put this, like I said earlier, in a smoothie, into like a porridge, oatmeal, like anything like that. I just add it to water. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna get back to drinking my smoothies and I just haven't done it yet. I need to stock up on all the things I like for smoothies. So I have already filled this up with water. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Actually, I'm going to kind of point this down so you can see better. Um, I've already had breakfast, as you guys saw. I have not had lunch yet. I'll have lunch a little bit later. It's only 9.22 here. So I eat lunch kind of early. We usually eat lunch between like 11 and noon, but um, yeah. So it has this cool little like strainer thing and you just take that out. And as you can see here, it says, it's a nutritious blend of plant-based superfoods, perfect for getting a daily dose of powerful greens into your life. Directions, mix one scoop with water, juice, or add to your smoothie. This would be really good to add to juice. I just don't drink any kind of juice. 
So when you open it up, as you can see, you have this handy dandy little scoop. So I'm just gonna take one scoop of it, like so. And I always kind of do this like heaping scoop, add it to the water, and then put this handy dandy little strainer thing on, screw the lid back on, and just shake it up. Let me kind of point it back up. Shake, 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 shake. Like so. And this thing seriously is such a cool tumbler. Like I said, I like that it fits in all of my cup holders because um, I have a big 40 ounce water bottle that I would take with me everywhere, but it doesn't fit in the cup holder in my Subaru, so I can't take it. And then I like, I love the opening of this. It's kind of like a coffee mug opening. It latches tight, so it's not gonna spill. So then, like I said, you can just take it. Got it on my nose. <laughs> Wherever you go with you. So I can take this with me around the house as I do the laundry, do my chores, all that kind of stuff. I've taken it with me to speech therapy on the way to the gym. Um, it's really easy for on the go. So like I was saying, this has become a part of my daily routine since I got back to my healthy eating and my workout routine. So I just wanted to share that with you guys since I am doing a what I eat in a day vlog. So I will be back at lunchtime to show you what I'm having for lunch. All right, so it is lunchtime and I wanted to hop on here and show you guys what I'm having for lunch. If you are new around here, then you don't know, but if you've been around for a while, you already know that I have Greek yogurt with berries and granola every day for lunch. So today I'm using non-fat plain Greek yogurt. The brand is Members Mark. I got this at Sam's Club. I always use plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Sometimes my brands vary. I usually have it from Sam's, Costco, or Walmart. So first, Let's aim this down. I start off and just put some yogurt in a bowl. And I do not measure my yogurt. I am starving today and I'm going to the gym later. So I'm gonna probably make a really big bowl of yogurt because my cycling class is at 5.30. So it's like right in the middle of dinner time. So I won't be eating dinner until like 7, 7.30 tonight. So I'm gonna have a huge bowl of yogurt because this will really hold me over um and get me through that workout and the rest of my day so i have a ton of yogurt in here now if you've ever had plain non-fat greek yogurt you guys know that it does not taste the best it's kind of sour so i like to doctor it up now greek yogurt and some berries are on the 21 day meal plan but things like honey and granola are not. So because I've reached my goal weight, I've added certain things like that back in. Like I said, it's a 95% clean diet that I try to eat. Um, what, babe? You forgot me. What about you? Yeah. All right, hold on, let me finish this, okay? All right, so I just put a ton of cinnamon on here, like a ton. Usually I buy a big thing of cinnamon from Costco, but I haven't been to Costco in a little while, so I just have this little one. I also am going to add some um, almond butter. Sometimes I'll do almond butter on a rice cake for a snack, but I think I'm just gonna add like just a little bit to my yogurt today instead of having it on a rice cake. Because like I said, this is going to be a very filling um, bowl of yogurt. So I just add a little bit. You guys can see there's not a lot in there. I just kind of add that. I'm going to do a tiny bit more. What, babe? She's, um, you have hardly eaten anything. You need to finish your lunch. All right, we'll talk about it in a second. I have got some honey here from Costco. What, babe? No, because you didn't eat your lunch. So I just add more than I probably should, but a drizzle of honey to the top. Hold on, let me finish showing them what I'm having for lunch, and then I'll talk to you about having one, okay? I'm going to add blueberries today. Ain't this down again, sorry. It's kind of hard because I want to show you guys what I'm making, but I also want to tell you guys about it. So I'm gonna add some blueberries. I also do not measure my fruit, just like that. And I'm gonna add some blackberries. And then today I'm also going to add a banana because we have some bananas that need to be used. I make sure that the almond butter I buy, the only ingredient in it is dry roasted almonds. So it literally doesn't have anything extra added into it. Um, that is approved on the meal plan that I followed. So like I said, because I have reached my goal weight, I have added things back in that are not on the meal plan, but I just try to keep it healthy. Um, 
and not everything I eat now is going to be 100% clean, but it's gonna be pretty close to it. I try to keep it like 90% of the time clean eating. I do wanna say though, that when I followed the meal plan at first, I was very strict with it and didn't cheat and followed it to a T for like eight, nine months. So now I'm going to add some granola. I usually have granola in my granola canister, but when I bought this new bag of it, I wanted to show you guys so you can see what I eat. So I got this at Sam's, but it's the Bare Naked Granola brand. I get it other places as well, like Walmart has it, Sprouts has it. So um, I do not measure granola either. I probably should. So I'm gonna actually measure it today. A quarter cup is a serving. And I liked this one because it's lower in sugar compared to some of the other granolas. So this one is just a fruit and nut mix. Um, it's not my favorite flavor I've tried from this brand, but it's the only one that they carried at Sam's. So here is a quarter cup of granola and I will just dump that on the top like so. And then it does have almonds in it, but not much. So I'm just going to add a few extra almonds to the top because I like the crunch of almonds in my yogurt. So here is my lunch for the day, a big bowl of yogurt. This will keep me full for so long. There is a lot of protein and plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And with the berries, it is seriously so filling. It's 11.37 right now, so I will eat this. I might have a snack between now and the gym since I'm not leaving until like 5 p.m. Um, I've got some bell peppers in there, so maybe some bell peppers and hummus, something, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but this will seriously keep me full. So. If I decide to have a snack, I'll come back and show you guys. I'm thinking I might prep dinner before I go to the gym. That way, when I get home, all I have to do is warm mine up to eat it. And while I'm gone, Chris and the kids can eat. So they're not having to eat late because of my late class. So I'm going to go ahead and have this refill my water cup because there's not very much left in there and go eat my lunch. So just wanted to show you guys. Let me know if you try it. It is so delicious. All right, you guys, I got home from the gym and I was absolutely starving, so I threw dinner together really fast. This is just brown rice pasta. I have ground turkey, red peppers, orange peppers, onions, mushrooms, um, and then I put on like salt, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, extra spicy Mrs. Dash, pepper, and then I also added some curry. So this is just kind of like a little 21-day meal plan. It's completely on plan. Um, and I just mix it up. If you want to have kind of like a sauce, I guess you could say, you could add some non-fat Greek yogurt or cottage cheese, which I will probably add some cottage cheese to mine just to give it a little bit of sauce, just like a little spoonful. But anyways, it's really good. It's super filling and the pasta is actually delicious. It tastes just like regular pasta to me, the texture, everything. Let me show you what it looks like really quick. This is the pasta I get. I get it at Sprouts. I just cooked half the bag. Um, brown rice penne pasta. There's the brand. And when you look back at the ingredients, the only ingredients in it are brown rice and water. So that is the pasta we are having tonight. So I just wanted to share with you guys my dinner really quick. So thank you guys for watching and hope everybody had a great day.